Hello my handsome and sexy dirty bastards, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a review about Zadig en Voltaire, This Is Him, Vibes of Freedom. Damn, <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that I could sing, huh? I can't. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do in this review, I have never smelled this fragrance. I got a sample of it. I'm gonna test it on my arm and see what I'm gonna get with the first impressions. Then I'm gonna let it dry down on my skin for two hours and come back with my final thoughts. So let's see if this one is good. Now grab yourselves a cup of coffee and put your balls in a good position and let's get into it. Okay, so let's see. Zadig en Voltaire. This is him. Vibes of freedom. Let's see what we're gonna get from this one. Hoppakee. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's weird. Because of the blue color, I thought it was going to be... I smell sandalwood, I think. Now I don't get sandalwood anymore. Oh, I really thought it was sandalwood. Hmm. Different. Different kind of a blue fragrance. I think there's sandalwood in it. I smell a wood in there that is a bit creamy. It is, it is fresh, woody, creamy. That's what I get. It doesn't really impress me, to be honest. I know it is a new one. I hope it is a cheap, that it is really cheap right now because it smells cheap. To me. I have one Zadig and Voltaire fragrance. It is a, this is him. It's in a black bottle. But that is a darker fragrance. That one smells like really luxurious. And this smells cheap. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't have much to say right now. It's just if I would give it a rating already right now, I would say like five, five, five and a half, six, maybe. Doesn't really impress me, but... I'm gonna let it, uh, let it down, but I'm gonna let it dry down for two hours on my skin and then come back with my final thoughts and I hope it has changed. And if not, then not. <laughs> Be right back in a sec. Two hours later. All right, guys, and I am back after two hours. So Zadig and Voltaire, this is him, Freedom Vibes. I don't like it. I don't like it at all, to be honest. Let's dive into the notes and see what is in this fragrance. So in the top, you're going to get lavender, mandarin, orange. I get that a bit. Uh, in the middle notes, you get incense and cardamom. I do like incense. I do like cardamom. I don't get that in this fragrance. Uh, and in the base, you're going to get cedar and patchouli. I do get the cedar a bit and the patchouli a bit. But the main thing that I smell in this fragrance is the sandalwood. And it's not listed in the notes, but I smell it because I hate hate sandalwood kind of fragrances and definitely if the sandalwood is really pronounced or pronounced or announced i'm not sure is it pronounced or announced announced i think and i'm, I'm not sure let me know in the comments down below how i need to uh how i need to speak that <laughs> but um no the sandalwood in here is very powerful and i must say sandalwood doesn't do a good thing on my skin so i'm judging this fragrance how it is off of my skin and off of my skin it's absolutely shit <laughs> oh it smells like a dirty hamster cage but thrown some freshness over it you know like that um that citrus and a lavender that was in there throw that over a dirty hamster cage that's what's on my skin right now i must say that it is the sandalwood and sandalwood always does that to my skin so no i just uh, i i really hate it it is a masculine fresh dirty hamster cage but um no I, i'm not gonna do this review any further because i have the feeling that it is not honest towards the fragrance because it is just that sandalwood doesn't go good on my skin so what i would recommend you is try it on your own skin and see what happens because to me it is not good at all if i need to judge it from one to ten i would give this a two <laughs> <clears throat> it even uh, makes me a little bit sick if I'm honest, but as I said, that, that is what sandalwood does to me. I'm not gonna do this review any further because it, it's it's not honest, to be honest. Um, it's not honest, to be honest. Yeah, it's just the sandalwood does that always on my skin. That's why I don't like 
heavy sandalwood kind of a fragrances because it goes to shit on my skin. Like also a lot of people really like uh, Santal 33. Hate that fragrance. I would say if you like Le Labo Santal 33, try this fragrance out. Don't go into this fragrance and think like it is going to be a very fresh fragrance because I did that. I thought it was going to be very fresh and very likable. It is like fresh bit at the top with darkness underneath it. It's more like a dark-ish kind of a fragrance. Woody. Dark. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was my review of today. Hope you kind of enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Whoa. Oh, something itchy. So uh, let me know in the comments down below what I need to review next. And I will do it and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.